Hey everybody, so I just wanted to talk. I needed to get this off of my chest. And it's about Bishop T.D. Jakes. First of all, I wanted to say that at one time I belonged to the Potter's House. I was a member of the Potter's House. Um, I have gone to several of his ILS um, conferences, pastors and leadership conferences. And, uh, you know, I, more than that, I have been listening to him on television. I've called him my mentor. He is the comedian of all comedians as far as I'm concerned. I loved his personality. I was one of his biggest fans. I met him in person. I don't know if he remembers, but I was at a restaurant and I actually gave him a copy of my play and my book. But anyways, I was a big T.D. Jakes fan. And when I say was, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to be anymore. And it's not so much because of what I think he did, even though uh, what I heard that he allegedly did was horrific but all have fallen short of the glory of God. He was, uh, he was supposed to be living by a higher standard. So I did expect more of him. But for me, uh, the bottom line is how he handled it. Somebody told me a long time ago, it's not what you do, it's how you handle it. And I would have expected so much more of him than that. I saw him change from a strong man to a wimp. Right before my eyes, I saw him become a wimp. He didn't admit to any wrongdoing. He knew he was at the Diddy parties. That was not right. He wouldn't get up on the stage and tell his whole congregation that he goes to Diddy parties. He knows he was hiding that fact. But when he was found out, he didn't say anything about it. And you know, he was so vague and defensive, and he just seemed so weak to me. I'm not the strongest person in the world, but I know I'm stronger than that. Now, I like to get my groove on. I really do. Okay, I'm a Christian. I'm a doctor of Christian counseling. I'm an author of books. I have written Christian plays, but I like to get my groove on and not to the point where I'm twerking and turning my behind up uh, so you can see what I might look like in bed or know how to move in bed and not to that degree but to the degree that I like to express myself through dance and I love some secular songs I really 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 do um, but when Friday night and Saturday night come, I don't think about seeing myself at anybody's party. Not a child's birthday party, not uh, the local Elks Club. I don't think about it, let alone a Diddy party or anything similar. I think about what I'm going to wear to church the next day. And so if that's what's on my mind, then I would think oh, that he's sitting around somewhere studying for his sermons and not being at no ditty party. And so Rita, I hate to say it, but something ain't right with you either because, and your whole family just standing up there uh, backing him up. 
some of y'all know that what he's doing is wrong and I don't know to what degree it's wrong. I don't know to what degree, but my discernment, I don't need anything proven to me because my discernment tells me about how you were looking up on that stage on New Year's Eve in your red suit, how weak and defensive you were. I never would have thought in a million years that I would see Bishop Jakes go down to that extreme. <sighs> and part of your tears or your about to be ready to have tears was really about uh, your guilt. That's what that was about. You know it. It was about your guilt. So as bad as what you have allegedly done may be, that is not the part that brings me to tears. The part that brings me to tears, Mr. Bishop Jakes, is how you handled it and how low you looked defending yourself and how you did not take any accountability for anything and the words you use to defend yourself when you know you know but sadly, God knows exactly what you did. And I am appalled that my Bishop T.D. Jakes not only allegedly did what he did, but that he was lower than I ever thought he would be by the way he looked on that stage in the red suit. Whew.